Jay and today I'm here with my February favorites for 2019. I don't have too too much to talk about but I do have a lot of Funko Pops. Are we really surprised? Probably not but without further ado let us get started. So the first thing I usually talk about are experiences for the month. The first thing I want to talk about is that I got into teachers college which is super exciting for me because I did not think that I was gonna get in but here we are so I'm going back to school in September. Am I excited that I'm going back to school? No, but I'm excited that I'm one step closer to being a teacher because it's what I've always wanted so I'm here for it but also not here for it, you know? The next thing I have is like an experience but I have something like physical to show for it. I got to go to the Frenzy Presents presentation in Toronto again this year. I went in the summer. It was a grand old time, but they gave us these cute little mugs this time around. You always get like a swag bag kind of thing and these were included and I love it so much. I think it's so cute. It just like sits up there on my shelf, but I got to see Zoe and Julia. I got to meet Amanda from Read All Dem Books, so that was really awesome. I got to see Danny from Danny Maxwell. So I got to see all my friends, so I was really excited about it. And it was just a really fun time. Um, I'm going to have a arc haul from that because you get books in your swag bag. So check out that whenever I actually get around to filming it but it'll be up eventually. I guess the next thing we can talk about are items or like miscellaneous kind of things. The first thing I have is this pineapple keychain. I think it is the cutest thing in the entire world. If you're new to this channel, hi, I am obsessed with pineapples. I love them. I think they're so great. It's like an inside joke with my mom and my boyfriend. So anytime I see something with a pineapple, I have to have it. So we got a fuzzy little keychain this time around and I love it. Have I put it on anything yet? No. I don't know where to put it, but I still love it. The next thing I have is a clothing item. I love these pants so much. They look like this. They're real flowy, real billowy. I like to call them like my Bollywood pants. I feel like that's probably not what they're called, but that's what they remind me of. They're like really flowy throughout the whole thing. Obviously, I'm six feet tall, so I think they're supposed to go to your ankles, but they do not go to my ankles. They go to like just above my ankles, mid-calf kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? But I have so many pairs of these kinds of pants. I get them from the thrift store, so I can't tell you like exactly where they're from because I don't know. This one is from Mint Green, which I don't even know what that is, but... I probably have about 20 pairs of pants like this now and I'm obsessed with them and I'm so excited for it to be summer again so I can wear them. I've just been wearing them to bed because you can't wear them outside right now because it's negative 40 here. And now, moving on to our uh, Funko Pop obsession. I went a little crazy this month. Um, I have regrets but also no regrets. So I guess we'll start with our ones from the same line. I got three from the new Aladdin Disney movie line because I love Aladdin. I'm very excited for the movie. I know a lot of people are like, it's gonna suck so badly, but personally, I'm here for it. Um, the first one I got is Prince Ali. Obviously, we need Prince Ali. He's a staple in the movie, and I have regular Aladdin up there somewhere. I don't think you can see him, but he's up there, and um, we needed him in Prince form. So we got him. The next one that I got is Iago. He is Jafar's parrot. I love Iago. I think he is so sassy and just a grand old time. So when I saw that there was a Funko Pop of him, I had to snatch him up right away. And then the final one from the Aladdin line that I got is the genie. I know that there's another genie pop out there but he's now in the vault so I never got him and then they came out with this one and I'm really excited because I finally have a genie. The next one I got was because it was a sale by three for thirty dollars usually here in Canada they're fifteen dollars so I was like hey basically one free might as well get that on there but they didn't really have like a huge selection of them because like you know people buy them because there's a huge sale on them so I ended up getting Frozone from The Incredibles 2. I really like Frozone so I'm not mad about it but I'm kind of annoyed because the box just like falls open all the time. It's broken. It doesn't stay up but you know it's fine because I got a Jack Jack up there and now I got a Frozone. The next one if you guys follow me on Twitter you know that I've been talking about this one 
for so so long now and I've wanted it since I saw that it was released because Stitch is my favorite. And they came out with a Stitch Valentine pop and he has a little heart and it says be mine and I think it's like the cutest thing in the entire world. So it's only sold at Hot Topic so I ran to Hot Topic and I was like I need it. And this was the last one left and the box was messed up but I was like you know what we're gonna take it anyways because it's only around on Valentine's Day and I probably would not have found it otherwise and then the last two pops that I got um one of them was really dumb of me like I should not have spent this much on it but he's my favorite character so I splurged a little bit but it is serious black in you know human form which this is the one I splurged on should not have spent $20 on this but um here we are and I'm not mad about it because I love him so much and then I also got him in his dog form. So now I have two serious blacks and I'm really excited about it and they're gonna go with my little Hagrid and Dobby and Hedwig and just ah, I'm so excited. And then the next thing we're gonna talk about obviously we have to include some kind of food on this channel because you know your girl loves herself some food. So my favorite for this month is this nut and seed brittle. It's from Costco. I don't know if you guys in America have Costco. I think you do but it's by Kirkland signature that's like the Costco brand obviously it's called nut and seed brittle so it's a bunch of nuts and seeds with like this sugary honey glaze over them but it is like so light and airy you expect it to be super dense but it just like lifts your mouth up and you're just having a grand old time chomping on this and it fills you up really quickly which is weird because like I guess it's not weird because it's nuts and seeds, but you wouldn't expect this kind of thing to fill you up, but it's so addictive and I could eat it like crack. Alright, and now for my favorite part of the video where I get to lip sync poorly to the songs I've been loving this month. I only have one song that I'm going to play for you guys because the rest are all John Bellion and obviously you guys have heard all my John Bellion songs, but this one is Wish You Were Gay by Billie Eilish, Eilish, still don't know how to say her name. But I've been obsessed with her lately. I think her music is just so catchy. But this is my new favorite. It got released like yesterday. So technically I guess it should be my March favorite since it's March 4th right now. But here we are. So here it is. I just want to make you feel I just think it's a super fun song so I highly recommend y'all listen to her because she's great. Alright guys so that was my February favorites for 2019. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.